These were 50 euro. They do not owe me a penny. Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira, and I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. If that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So today's video is a much requested one and it is going to be a roundup of the best boots on the high street for your autumn winter capsule wardrobe. When it comes to shopping for boots for autumn winter, I really do think that you have to shop around. I feel like there are some shops that do the most amazing quality for the best value and I have pairs that have cost me under 50 euro and then I have pairs that I have spent a couple of hundred euro on and I think I have really amassed a good solid core collection of boots. Everything that I mentioned will be linked right down in the description below. If any of these pieces are sold out I will link similar items in the description below and I'll also pop up some of my edits that I do on LTK. I've done one for my favorite knee-high boots. I always get asked about them every year so I have a little round of of my favorite ones. I also have one for my favorite ankle boots as well. So without rambling on too much, I'm gonna show you my collection and I'm going to highlight the shops that I think do the best boots for autumn winter. So we're going to work through by shop and inside that I will talk about ankle boots and knee high boots as well. So we're gonna start off with and other stories and they are a really, really great one to look at for autumn winter boots. So the boots that I'm gonna show you are my flat riding boots. And you may remember last year, I was on the hunt for a pair exactly like these. I bought a pair from Arquette and return them because they weren't quite right on the calf. I wanted something that had a little bit of width on the calf and that looked like a really traditional minimal riding boot with no hardware, no details, that had like a flat sole but was also really comfortable as well. And other stories had the perfect pair. Now these do come in at just under 300 euro. They do sell out quite quickly. They do have them in the beautiful brown color, which again is such a staple color for a boot. So if you already had a black pair, I think the brown are gorgeous. I do think that a flat riding boot is a really good option for your capsule wardrobe. Obviously they're going to be so much more comfortable than a heel. They look really really chic. I've especially seen in the last few years a real resurgence in like a classic riding boot. They look beautiful when you're wearing your jeans tucked into them. You can even lean into the equestrian a little bit more and tuck your trousers into them. They really are super super chic. So these were a little bit on the more expensive side. I do expect that these will age really really well. Um, and I absolutely love them. So these are the only boots that I have from And Other Stories, but they do do some amazing ankle boots and I've been very tempted by their ones before. So I'll leave in the description below some of their ankle boots and ones that I think are particularly good picks. But And Other Stories are great for boots in general and they have my favorite style of riding boots if you're on the hunt for those. So next up, we're gonna talk about Flattered and they are such a stunning Scandi brand that I discovered in the last year. They do such great products and in particular, their leather is chef's kiss and I actually picked up a pair of their boots recently and it is this gorgeous gorgeous pair of ankle boots now again these are real leather they are buttery soft I will say I did just get these so I have not road tested them yet any shoes that I've gotten from flattered have been honestly the most comfortable in my wardrobe I have a pair of their loafers their penny loafers uh, which I never shut up about and they're so comfortable and I would bet my bottom dollar that these are going to be just as comfortable I will eat my words. If they're not comfortable, I will tell you they do the best ankle boots, knee high boots. So I do think these are going to be amazing. Of course, I will report back. It's the minimal details, the square toe. Like for me, this isn't a massive heel. I think I could do most of a day in this. It's nice and chunky. Um, so I do think these are going to be super comfortable. So moving on from Flattered, next up, we're going to talk about Massimo Duty. And again, they are a gorgeous brand to shop for ankle boots, for knee high boots. They have some really, really great options. But the ones that I have, that I wanted to show you are this gorgeous pair of kind of wide leg ankle boots. They have a point that kind of tapers off into a square. They've got a nice chunky but slim to the side ankle height. To me, this again is not too high. They do also do a shorter version, which I will link below as well. But again, I do think that Massimo Duty boots are really, really good quality. This is their real leather version. So again, I think these were around 220, but they are so comfortable. I do feel like they're gonna age 
age quite well. I've worn them quite a bit. I got them last year. The slouch is kind of starting to happen here, but I don't mind. I knew that was something that would happen, especially with real leather, because they're not like super structured, but they are such a good option. For my last pair of kind of more premium priced boots, I have this stunning pair from Russell and Bromley. Now these are less minimal and less capsule wardrobe. They're a little bit more fun and funky. As you can see, they have this beautiful deep burgundy finish, this kind of like, almost like alligator croc effect, which is so cool. But again, they are a really good quality leather and you can see there is that Western style in the heel, in the point. They are super, super chic. They're not exactly an everyday boot, which, you know, is something that I do reach for my more simpler styles more often. But these are always the type of boot that I put on if I want to add a little bit of edge or interest to a look. I love them worn with like a really simple outfit. I wore them with like an all black maxi dress um, last year when I was going to an event and they're just so chic. I also love them with a mini skirt and oversized knit. Also come in like a green finish, which is so, so fun. My friend Jody has the green colorway and they are gorgeous. They actually almost look black to the naked eye. So they go quite well with outfits. They're not actually that hard to style. So those are all my more premium priced boots and again all of them are amazing quality I do feel like I'm gonna get my money's worth I wear them so much but I also wanted to show you some boots that I think are just incredible value one in particular I'm gonna show you I have had for over three years I think potentially four years and they are my beloved knee-high boots from H&M these were 50 euro they do not owe me a penny. I've worn these so much that this season I actually bought black boot polish so I could give them a little extra shine. There was like a few tiny little scuffs on them. They look like they could have been bought this season. They are such good value. This exact style is no longer on the H&M website, but they have something really, really similar, which I'm gonna show you now. And oftentimes the faux leather boots, if they're good quality faux leather, they will still last. So the pair that I'm gonna show you are these delicious, more of a shiny paint and finish. These are probably gonna look black. I'm not sure what the lighting is gonna come up like in the screen. They're kind of like a brownie wine color. The boot heel is very similar. These are a little bit slimmer and a tiny bit higher than the previous ones. This style H&M have been bringing out every single season and every single season they bring them out in like late August early September and they sell out so fast and they will restock them maybe once or twice and then they're gone again for the rest of the year so if you're watching this and you need a good pair of boots I would try and snap these up they come in at I think 69 euro which is phenomenal value the ones that I bought four years ago are still going strong so I would snap them up if you can get them oh my gosh the next pair I'm obsessed with these are again from H&M these were 49 euro which I cannot believe a nice wide fit on the calf these are very similar to the Massimo Duty ones which again I paid about 224 you can see they have a kind of stiletto kitten heel instead of a chunky heel and they have a gorgeous point like a really nice point and I love the width of the kind of fit on the calf is nice and spacious and you can see again they're a beautiful deep burgundy color a bit more rich in color than the previous pair I just feel like burgundy as we know is a massive trend for autumn winter and it's such a good price I feel like for something like this yes burgundy is kind of a trendier color at the moment but it's also a very easy color to style so for me when it comes to a wardrobe full of neutrals I know burgundies and browns will match really really well I think they might be sold out in the burgundy but they did have them in a beautiful like high shine black finish and then in like a smooth black finish and they are so stunning like cannot recommend these enough they are really really comfortable and I do think that they'll last quite well even though the price is so good but another high street shop that I think is excellent for boots for autumn winter is ASOS. So I don't actually have any knee high boots from ASOS but what I do have are these ankle boots. You may remember me talking about these before but these are probably my most worn ankle boot. These were 40 euro I think. I think they were originally like 59 but they've been reduced and actually they might still be in stock because they've had them for years. They're one of the ASOS design range and again for how much I have worn these there is really minimal scuffing and again these are a faux leather which is obviously reflected in the price under 50 euro like incredible value there's a tiny bit of scuffing at the very tip of the shoe but you wouldn't even notice it this is probably a touch on the high side and yes I wouldn't be wearing these all day long but I can definitely do serious mileage in these and have done they are such a good find you'll notice that these are almost identical to the flattered pair and obviously there is a big difference in the price because I wore these so 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 much I was happy to pick up a 
more kind of long-term pair in these and obviously these are the most stunning leather so I will say it kind of depends on your budget there are options that you can get that are super affordable that are still great whereas I do think that these will probably last a little bit better in my wardrobe it just depends on what you're looking for and how much you wear an ankle boot but for me I do live in them so I'm happy to spend more if I have to the last pair I'm going to show you are again from ASOS and they are a nice chunky style you can see there is kind of like a thick chunky it actually kind of tapers out a little bit that kind of heel and these are actually very very comfortable they also have a cool like square toe you can kind of see there's a lip here that comes out which I think is a cute little detail these are all very similar and to the naked eye you might think they're exactly the same but these I feel like are actually that little bit comfier because they have a chunkier heel I don't think ASOS are my top recommendation for knee-high boots I would give that to H&M but for ankle boots I think ASOS is a really good spot to check out especially if you want something for under 100 euro for under 50 euro they always deliver so there you have it guys that is a roundup of my favorite knee-high and ankle boots on the high street right now for your capsule wardrobe if you liked this type of roundup video do give me a thumbs up to let me know and please do leave me a comment and let me know if there's an item that you'd like me to do a roundup or kind of a best of the high street version of if you want to see the best blazers on the high street the best trainers the best flats loafers coats whatever it is just let me know in the comments below as you guys know I love to do the research for you I would be happy to do any more roundups that you guys would like to see if you have not already then be sure to subscribe to my channel I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one